End of the video, I'll show you a cool trick for your string. Now let's get started. So you can go out in the field, you're going to have a 100 foot tape, string, line level, and measuring wheel. You're also going to need a hammer and some stakes. Then you're going to drive the stakes in the ground on each end of the slope you're trying to find. Remember, it's going to be average slope. Put the line level on there, make sure it's completely level, and then let's look at it on some paper. Okay, so let's say this is my slope. I drove a stake in here. I drove a stake in here. We'll call this my high-vis line. I pull it as absolutely tight as I can and I tie it off. I put my bubble level on here and I make sure its string is completely level. And what I'm trying to do is find the average slope of this grade here. So slope in math class is represented with an M. It's going to be rise over the run. I could be quite a few inches up here. It doesn't really matter as long as I keep track of it. And I'm not drawing this to scale. But if I have my two stakes, and let's say I measured that string out to be 100 feet long, and I subtracted this distance to this distance right here, and I'm 18 inches off of the ground, then to find slope, I convert. My units have to be the same. So if this is in inches, this right here has to be in inches, or this has to be in feet. But my units have to be the same. 18 inches is 18 of 12 inches. My inches cancel, and it gives me 1.5 feet. So my slope here for rise over run, my slope is 1.5 feet over 100 feet. So that's going to be my slope right there. I could use my calculator and get a rise per run. 1.5 divided by 100 is 0.015 or 1.5% slope, right? To convert from that decimal to a percentage, I just move over 1, 2, and I get 1.5%. So again, slope is rise over the run. You can find it easily on a, on a grade by using stakes and string, pulling that string tight and getting it level, measuring your rise and your run. Rise over run is going to give you your either decimal slope, your rise over the run, or a percent grade. Again, that's an average. So this is what your string usually looks like if you don't do this trick first. And this is even worse when you're in the field. So what I'm going to do, and you want to do this before you unwrap it, is put dowels in each end of it and cut a little spot for the string to go into, and that'll keep your string straight. Three quarter inch dowel and uh, just cut off about six inches. Then I just uh, break the edge off of here to get Cut a little groove in the end here. This could all be done with a hand saw, hand tools, hand sander. Then come over here and bang this in. Bang it all the way through. Or use another one. There's my string mess. If you knock these two dowels in with the cut ends on the end, um, right when you buy it, before you even unwrap it, you're good to go. If you're new to this channel, think about subscribing. Uh, it's a practical math channel, Colfax Math.